sunshine don't kill me, I'll do till I die. I spent an old shiner for many a year. I spent all my money on whiskey and beer. I'll go to some hollow and set up my still, and I'll make you a gallon for two. It's a matter thing you wouldn't understand. Hello, everybody. Did everybody have a good St. Patrick's Day? Yes. Excellent. Um, we just wanted to do one small housekeeping. We asked that if you have a coat that's hanging on the back of your chair that might be on the floor, um, in a minute or two, if you could either adjust it so it's not hanging, that's okay. We just don't want anybody tripping over coats or canes because it's very tight in the room, okay? Okay. Um, and without further ado, I would like to introduce Mayor Bill Carpenter to come on up and say hello. We should try not to stay on my back to the council. It's all right, we got your back. Good afternoon, everyone. It's great to be here with you to help you celebrate St. Patrick's Day. Unfortunately, the weather didn't cooperate too much with us last week, but uh, it's been a couple of uh, tough weeks weather-wise, but we've certainly got a beautiful day today, if you like cold and windy. <laughs> we were kidding around on Friday uh, about at City Hall about celebrating St. Patrick's Day weekend, because if you're really Irish, you don't limit your celebration to just one day. Um, and, and so I, you know, I can tell you that I am 100% half Irish. So this is a great day for me, but my mother's family comes from uh, County Clare and County Sligo. And I'm second generation now here, but I'm very proud of my Irish heritage, as we all are. We're, it's a great uh, opportunity for us on St. Patty's Day weekend to share our Irish pride and Irish heritage with everybody else. And thanks to moving this to today, this is my fourth consecutive day of St. Patrick's Day celebrations. So we really did go with the St. Patty's Day weekend this year. Enjoy, everybody. Enjoy the meal. It's always great. Thank you. Oh. oh, yeah. Wait a minute, I'm not quite done. We have a special guest that uh, they'd like me to introduce. Uh, Republic Services every year uh, is a sponsor of this event and allows uh, the COA to be able to host this event for you. So Terry Grady from Republic Services, we want to get him up for a chance to say hello. Thank you very much, Mayor. Appreciate it. Uh, again, we're pr proud to sponsor this again. 
like the mayor, I'm Irish too with the last name Grady. So uh, I look forward to attending this every year. We look forward to helping do what we can for the Council on Aging. And at this point, I would say enjoy your meal. Thank you. Can the council clerk be performing for us in a few minutes? Um, but before they do, I wanted to introduce Amy Korn for you, for all of you that don't know Amy. She is the accordionist. Did I say that right? The accordionist that plays with the council chords. So if we could give her a couple of minutes of your attention. Yes. Come on up. Amy. There we go. Hi. I just wanted to tell everybody about a very exciting thing that's happening in two weeks. I wrote some notes so I wouldn't forget to uh, tell you the details. This is in celebration of Brockton's uh, diversity and uh, to commemorate Brockton Rotary's 100th birthday this year, we are um, presenting one of the great events of Brockton's uh, year, or any year, by succeeding in getting a beautiful new music piece written by a very uh, fine composer who has won four Emmy Awards and two gold records from New York City. And he has written a piece of music for Brockton. Uh, uh, and the music expresses the essence of Brockton. And it's in three parts. The first part being music of uh, immigrants. The second part is music of champions, and the third part is music of diversity. And it's a 15-minute piece, and I went up to Brockton High School and presented the idea to Vinnie Macrina, who's head of the Brockton uh, Music Department, and he loved the idea. And in two weeks, he and the Brockton High School concert band will be performing this piece that was written just for us at the Brockton uh, Spring Concert. And uh, the world premiere will be up uh, at 7 o'clock. Oh, I know what it is. <laughs> 7 o'clock on April 4th at the high school, and it should be a wonderful world premiere, and it celebrates our city. So it will be a, a, a beautiful piece that will be here forever to be used like as our anthem, and anyone will be able to play any part of it. And you'll see that at the concert, I'm also having someone put a beautiful visual display on a screen to go with the music. And Carl Landerholm from the Brockton Historical Society has been helping me do that. So, uh, so there you go. And I hope you could come and see it. And if you haven't, you'll hear it at some point. And it's a beautiful piece that just feels like Brockton. And uh, it will be ours. Thank you so much. Thank you very much for support. And anybody that wants more details will have one of the flyers for the event up on our board. Um, and you can find it up on the community board as well. So just look for the one that has a bunch of multicolored hands on it and it'll, you'll have all the information. Without further ado, we would like to introduce the council chords who are going to entertain us with some traditional Irish music. I want to give a round of applause for everybody that comes back and performs, and especially for Tom, to Council Tom Monahan for helping reschedule everybody to today when our party was canceled. So thank you very much. Without further ado, the council chords. We're not quite recovered yet, so we're not going to sound that. Uh, uh, Council Cruz could not make it because of the condition he's in right now. <laughs> <laughs> we're missing a few people that are still uh, under the weather, shall we? So we're going to do Irish Road. We gave you a week. Start with me. Let Greg introduce you. All right, Greg. Greg, introduce us over. First of all, let's, let's get an Irishman to say something. Right, first of all, happy St. Patrick's Day, everyone. All right, let's start this thing off right. All right. I'm Greg Hanley. I'm your county commissioner. Wait a minute. You're half the Greg Hanley. Listen, I'm, I'm half the man I used to be. I lost 100 pounds because green beer counts as a vegetable. Okay? Just so you know. Hey, Michelle, did you hand out the earplugs? Yeah, we don't, we don't want to ruin their appetite. Dessert hasn't been served yet. So then our first song, folks, is going to be The Irish Rover by the Dublin. So hit it. Thank you. We set sail on the cold way of coral. We were sailing away with a cargo of bricks for the 
I'm the last of the Irish. 